This week's edition of Church Media Design TV is sponsored by Print Management Solutions and their free e-concierge software. Welcome to another edition of Church Media Design TV, tips, tricks, and how-to for you, the church media designer. Well, I'm your host, Brad Zimmerman, and I'm joined by my favorite bobble-headed friends. You got it right. We got Jamie and Adam from the Mythbusters. We got Dwight Schrute from The Office. We got Little Whitey, the miniature version of me, and of course, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord Most High. Well, on this week's edition, we're talking about free video editing software for the church that actually probably has some better features than Final Cut Pro X, but we're not going to get into that. If you want to hear about it, though, you can go check out the Creation Swap update where I do talk about that. So anyway, but we're going to be talking about free software for video editing as well as color correction and plugins and all sorts of free stuff for the church. And it's all new. This isn't old things that you've heard about for five years. This is new stuff that you can use in your church today. And it looks to be like some awesome stuff. As well as we have a stockpile full of resources, some inspiration that takes two worlds, combines them together for some awesomeness and some freebies for you. So if my favorite bobbleheaded friends are ready, let's get into it. Well, let's reach into the stockpile and grab some great resources for you and your church. And the first one is for those churches out there that are doing click tracks and backing tracks. Now, if you're not familiar with what these are, it's a way to play along with other music to make musicians that you don't really have appear and make your band sound more awesome. Now, uh, many churches use this, like I said, for instruments that they don't have, but other churches actually use this when they have a small band and they want to have a bigger sound. Well, this first website, Loop Community, is the place for you. This is the place to create and share and download worship loops. Now, they have a huge library, but they also have this awesome starter kit here that you can um, check out. And it's a great place that they've worked out a deal with Full Compass Systems to give you a starter kit if you're wanting to get into loops. Um, this is a great place to start to make sure you have all the tools that you need. Now, as far as the loops go, you can see they have a ton of different loops in here. Um, but they have, you know, like... Uh, Arms That Hold the Universe by Steve Fee. It's $15, it's in the key of C sharp, but the cool part is you can see here, you can get the MP3 for 15 or for 25, you can get the MP3 plus the reason file, which the reason file is what actually made the loop. So if you have that program, you can go in and edit it and resequence it and that sort of thing. So that's really exciting. So definitely check out that site if you're into loops. Well, next up is for all of us doing e-newsletters. If you're doing any sort of e-newsletter, uh, a while back we did a series on how to build your own um, mass email system on your own server, but some of you might be using Campaign Monitor or um, Chimp Mail and some of those other services, um, which give you some templates, but maybe you want to create something that's all your own. Well, HTML email can be really finicky and you get weird designs and things don't show up right in all the different places. So they invented the HTML email boilerplate. Now this is a basically a starting place for you to design, um, design your own HTML emails and you can see all the code in here and it, you know, it does, you know, chimp resets and all sorts of different crazy stuff to make sure it looks the same in all different browsers. So that's a really great starting place, but maybe you're saying, I wanna be a little further down the line. Well, this next resource is for you. It's 50 useful free HTML newsletter templates. So you can see there's a ton of different great designs in here. This is from smashingapps.com. You can see, you know, you got Franny's fabrics, or um, you know, there's some nice simple ones in here that you can easily change out this header and your logo and just have a nice looking um, HTML email that makes your newsletters and stuff you send out from your church look a whole lot better. Well, last on our list is for those of you inside After Effects wanting to do 3D titles, bringing some more 3D to your look, but you don't want to spend a bundle on Cinema 4D, or you don't like the way that Photoshop 3D inside After Effects works and all of that sort of thing, this is for you. It's from AE Scripts, and this is the 3D extruder, the spectacular 3D extrusion for After Effects. Now, you can check out this video, and the way it does this is using the time-honored method of stacking 2.5 
ID layers um, automatically for you um, and it makes it so you can still use lights and shading and all of that sort of thing. The cool part about this, as you can see, the text looks great, but they also allow you to go to a preview mode so you can easily edit stuff without having this render hog of this 3D text. And the best part, as you can see here, it only costs $29.99 for a single license, so that's way cheaper than the thousands you're gonna have to spend on Cinema 4D. Um, so that's definitely a tool worth checking out. Well, if you wanna find the links to all of these different websites, check out the show notes at cmd.tv slash 132. You can find the links for this as well as everything else from this week's episode on the website there. So make sure to check those out and add them to your arsenal. Well, before we move on, let's say thank you to our sponsor of Print Management Solutions and their new free e-concierge software powered by Xerox. Now, this allows you to see all of the printers on your network and see when their supplies are low and you can even order supplies from right inside the software. Now, this works not only on Xerox printers, but it also works on HP, Lexmark, Samsung, a ton of different print companies, and there's even more coming soon. So uh, this is definitely software worth checking out. You also, if you are a Xerox print owner and you start using this software, you can get a free warranty for your printer, which is super huge and super awesome. So this takes the headaches and hassles out of trying to figure out, oh, this printer is empty and I need to get some new stuff in it. Now let me drive to a big box store and oh, they don't have what I need in stock, but I have a print job and all this kind of stuff. So this takes the headaches out of that. So you can find out more over at printmanagementsolutions.biz. You can find out about all of their different services as well as find out about the free print management uh, software. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out. You can download this software and sign up at cmd.tv slash free print. So if you go to cmd.tv slash free print, you can sign up today. So make sure to check out printmanagementsolutions.biz. Well, this week I'm excited to bring you guys some awesome new free resources, and they're not even resources, these are programs that help you get the job done. A lot of times people come up to me saying, you know, hey Brad, what's an alternative to Photoshop that's for free? And I say, GIMP, and what's an alternative to Illustrator? And I say, Inkscape, and then they say, what's an alternative to Final Cut Pro or Premiere? And I say, you can get iMovie on a new Mac? or there's nothing on the Windows machine. You know, there's not great free alternatives for video editing. Well, that has all changed with Lightworks. Now, Lightworks is an awesome new program. I haven't personally checked it out, but from all of the screenshots and features, it looks to be great. It's now in public beta for free, and it will be an always free program, but it actually was used to edit the King's Speech. So any um, software that edits a feature-length film I think is probably good enough for my church. So as you can see here, it's got instant save, it's super fast, um, there's real-time effects that work on it, it's got unmatched um, format support, and it's got stereo stereoscopic 3D editing, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So if we check out the features here, you can see that it's um, resolution format and Kodak independent timeline. So it doesn't matter what you throw on it. It can take all of these different things. It can edit in all sorts of different frame rates. It has advanced multicam editing, which Final Cut Pro X doesn't have. Um, as we scroll down, you'll see it's got all the normal trimming, it's got effects built in, and it does it in real time in HD, SD, and 2K, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's got normal, um, all your normal tools, as well as color correction, it's got audio effects, um, as well as it's got support for a ton of different files. So, it's, uh, so down here you can see it has support for Red Files, Sony, Panasonic, um, any of the ones with an asterisk, you actually have to pay for an extra um, for support for this, but you know things like P2 and your standard QuickTime files and MPEG files and AVI files are all supported right out the gate. It's just some of your higher end format like Apple Pro Res and Sony XCam um, HD, so um, XD Cam HD, but it also has support support for 3D um, or third party support for Premiere plugins, After Effects plugins. So I mean this program has all of the stuff that you would want from it. The interface looks great. Um, 
The one thing to note is that it won't be out for the Macintosh until late this summer. It is out for the PC right now and it's forever free. They've taken their software that's been around for years and they said we want to make this tool available for everyone. So it looks like it's going to be an awesome, awesome deal for people who are looking for video editing software for their church. So I'm super excited about that one. Well, next up is a new free 3D editing tool, and it's called 123D, and it's from Autodesk, and they make some awesome software, and this is, you know, just along with it. Now, the idea behind this is a little different. It's create it, make it, where you actually can model things in this um, 3D app, and then you can actually build them and have it be made out of, you know, cardboard or all sorts of different interesting stuff. So I'm not sure if this actually has animation tools inside of it, but it does allow you to um, import different file types besides their 123D format. And it allows, I think it allows you to export them as well. But this looked to be something interesting that maybe would be helpful for churches. So I really wanted to pass that one along to you. But while we're talking about 3D programs, I know I would talk about only new stuff, but I had to mention if you want a great free 3D um, modeling and animation and everything tool, you have to check out Blender. Blender is awesome. And um, you can check out a couple animations here that Nick Koo, um, part of the CMD family, made. And these are some really, really awesome renders that, you know, I know he hasn't spent heaps of time on this stuff, but this is similar um, quality that you would see out of people's Cinema 4D projects. And this software is completely free, open source, built by the community. So it looks to be super rad and they've made some really, really cool stuff with it. So make sure to check out Blender. Now next up is for anyone who's interested in color correction and if you are and you want to be a colorist and do really great color correction, you've heard of the DaVinci. Now DaVinci is a program that got bought out by Blackmagic a few years ago and at NAB this year they released um, some new updates um, to their DaVinci Resolve line. Now this is the world's greatest color correction um, solution for the Mac and Linux and you can see here it's like crazy awesome color correction that gives you like super fine controls and they have you know their resolve software which is a thousand dollars but guess what they have resolve light which is totally free and uh, ships in july so that'll be out soon and you can actually it's got some limitations to it but you still can do most color correction inside of there and then if you wanted to buy the hardware it's only thirty thousand dollars which sounds ridiculous and I wouldn't even spend $30,000 on it. So um, the free Resolve Light software might be something interesting for you to check out. So um, you can check that out in July on the Blackmagic website. Well, next up are some free plugins for After Effects and for Final Cut Pro. Now this is from Noise Industries. We've talked about them in the past. But this is some free plugins that they've put out that used to be paid plugins and are now free. So you can check this out. And most of these, again, work in um, Final Cut Pro, Motion, Express, and After Effects. So we have Pan and Zoom. We have their Manifesto. We have Star Wars Titler and Barcode. Um, cover Flux, which is like uh, iTunes Cover Flow. Um, and then they have a, free D, uh, a freebie pack with you know Rack Focus and some different things. And then PHYX, which I have no idea what that is but these are all free plugins that you might want to check out because they might really help you in your production workflow so it's definitely worth checking out now next up is a plugin that again I maybe talked about a few weeks ago but it's still pretty new and it's really awesome and it is magic bullet colorista free and this is an awesome three-way color corrector that's totally for free and um, this works in After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro 6 and 7. So um, great piece of software. I've downloaded it, messed around with it. It's really awesome. If you're looking for a three-way color corrector or an easy way to do color grading, this is the way to go. So check that one out. Now, last but not least is a new site that I've heard about that... Um, has some awesome presets slash tutorials for After Effects, and this is Cuba HQ. Now you can see here, their first preset is a stop motion kit where you can easily make your animations have the feel of stop motion. And as you can see from this video, it looks pretty rad and um, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Now next they have their light wall, which is a really cool um, effect that 
you've seen in some different commercials and that sort of thing. The best part is it only requires After Effects, but if you have Cinema 4D, Trap Code Particular, or Video Copilot's optical flares or similar, you can um, get the same look. And as you can see, this is a really cool look that you could do some flashy intro to a series or something like that. It's got reflections built in and the whole nine yards. So this is definitely um, a couple presets that are worth checking out. So that's some free stuff that has come out lately that I thought would be interesting for you guys to check out. If you're interested in that video editing software from Lightworks or any of these other presets or programs and you want me to dive in deeper into them, let me know and I can do a future episode on them. But I wanted just at least to get the word out there so that if you're looking for some video editing software and you're a graphic designer and you don't have the money to spend on something right now, this will get you started and definitely will be some solid tools for you to check out. So you can find the links for all of those on the show notes at cmd.tv slash 132. So go check out all that free stuff. Well, this week's inspiration comes to us via Cameron Strang, the creator of Relevant Magazine, and I follow him on Twitter, and he was talking about one of the latest ads in New Magazine, which is their um, ministry magazine. Now, uh, he said, you know, the game has been upped for print advertisements because this advertiser had combined print with new media and made some super awesome stuff. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because I really want to encourage you guys to think outside the box, to take, you know, antiquated old technology technology and reuse it for some cool new stuff. Take a bunch of um, big tube TV sets and hook them in via coax cable to a DVD player or bring it into ProPresenter and throw a bunch of video clips on it, but you have like a hundred TVs on your stage and all of a sudden it looks awesome and doesn't look like, why do you have old tube TV sets on your stage? You can give it a cool look. So um, make sure to check out this video and be inspired to think outside the box. When I arrived at my first church several years ago, I uh, actually had a great youth staff and team of volunteers uh, in place, but unfortunately it kind of had a one-man show when it came to youth ministry and spent no time uh, talking with or investing and communicating with uh, the youth staff, and many of them actually walked away from the youth ministry because they didn't feel needed. Um, and it wasn't until several months later that I learned the importance of having a powerful and committed uh, youth staff uh, and it took me three years to actually rebuild uh, a, a youth staff that was as good as the one that I had when I first arrived. Definitely wish I knew that in my first 100 days of ministry. This week's inspiration comes to you from the Great White North. I was up at the Create Conference and I had some time to go over to Niagara Falls one evening and I only had my iPhone with me so I shot a little video using my awesome glyph and my little um, gorilla pod stand but they had these ginormous lights that lit up the falls at night and they're like colored and like super cool looking because if you've been to Niagara Falls you know that there's tons of mist and fog and all this stuff coming up from the falls and so you see all these particles flying through the air and flying through these lights and so I shot some video and edited it down and made two different loops you can see here um, and so I think they turned out pretty nice and it just shows you you got to make sure you know what you're shooting and shoot it well and then spend some time in post to make it look better than it probably should but again this was all shot on the iPhone 4 during the crate conference and if you didn't make it to the crate conference and you're from Canada this was an awesome conference it was really cool to meet up with um, Dan Stevers and get to meet him in person but also Scott McClellan did a main session and Ken Meyer and uh, a ton of other people were there doing some really great stuff and it was really cool to meet the Canadian church so if I met you there it was really awesome meeting you guys and I came back inspired from that conference but this is about the freebies, so go download and check out those freebies. Those are in widescreen and in full screen, WMV and MPEG-4, so they should work in anything, so go download them today. 
Well, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Church Media Design TV. If you guys have any questions or comments or you want me to dive in deeper into some of those free programs we talked about today in a future episode, the best place to do that is on the website at cmd.tv slash 132. That's where you can leave a comment as well as find links to everything I talked about in today's show. So I try to put those show notes up there so that you guys can easily find everything that we talk about. Um, as well as if you guys want to stay in touch with me online and see what I'm up to and follow along when new posts are released, you can follow me on twitter.com slash cmdtv or facebook.com slash cmdtv. You can also email me brad at churchmediadesign.tv. And like I said at the top of the show, I'd really encourage you guys to go to the website and subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast feeds or the RSS feeds for the website so you can stay up to date on all these freebies that are coming out all the time, as well as all the news articles about what's new and interesting for you in the church media world. I want to give you guys awesome resources that really are relevant to you in the church. So um, thanks a ton for tuning in again to this episode. Again, share it with friends and uh, check out the sponsors because they really help this show keep going on. So as for me and my favorite bobbleheaded friends, we're saying see you later.